Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. We are... I actually just realized I can fill this uh, this company slot. I've got a lot of good options, but I think I'm just going to go with the, uh, the Panama Canal Company. I think the base tax income is really solid, and the extra trader out competitiveness is not nothing. So we're going to get started with that, and that should be just fine. We should be getting that bonus pretty soon. Um, moving right along here... This defense division... Oh, yeah, because I just put new generals in there. All right, so that'll be fine. So, what do we want to do this episode? I think I might... I think this might be the time I grab Northern Cape from Transvaal. Russia declared a rivalry. Well, very well, Russia. Let us be rivals, then. I'm going to stop damaging relations with them, because I don't need to. And now I've got a whole barrel full of uh, influence to play with. France is trying to conquer all of Dainam. Maybe I'll just let that happen. Um, in any case, this situation in Oldenburg, not my business. This situation in Jabal Shamar, not my business. This situation in Selangor, not my business. <sighs> this might need to be my business, but for now, I think we'll wait. Um, I think probably... I'm actually thinking about increasing the size of the construction industry, the construction industry again, uh, bringing it up to 240. Just because... So, I'm getting 517k from Diplomatic Pacts, and I'm still over a while building... Is that wise? Maybe that's not wise. Maybe I'll let it be for now. So, I need to figure out how to make more money for my glassworks. Because my glassworks are currently not productive. And exporting porcelain... I should be able to export a ton of glass, but I guess there's just not that much demand for it. Interesting. All right, well, let's get the game going here. It also occurs to me that I never did conquer the rest of Mexico, and I probably will not at this point. Hey, British Raj, you sure you don't want support for independence? Are you happy being a puppet right now? You're certainly not. Oh my goodness, what? British Republic? But excuse me? Well, would you look at that? A dictatorial republic. The freaking petit bourgeoisie cooed the government and got rid of the monarchy. Oh my goodness. And they established a single party state. Oh, well, 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 Great Britain, Great Britain, Great Britain. What is going on with you? I've had a meaningful dip in standard of living and a meaningful increase in radicals just from conquering Fujian. Let's see what the situation's like there. Oh my goodness. Hold up. That's... That's annual. That's so much, though. Gosh. It's okay. We'll all be providing good uh, good opium jobs soon. Or not opium, uh, silk jobs soon. So that'll be nice. Well. I've got a pile of influence. I can't increase relations with France. Maybe I should form my own power block. That would be ridiculous. What if I... What if I did... Oh, it didn't... Didn't save any male ones. I think I would want an ideological union. I was going to form a power block earlier, but it doesn't seem that good right now. Relations with Japan are rock solid. Be my protectorate. It's only 38.9 infamy. That's bananas. I thought taking Japan as a protectorate would be more than that. What if I took Korea? Only 17. I could actually do it. Gosh, and also golly. Hold up. 
I could take Rhea as a protectorate right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hold on. 82.5, 17.0. Let's just wait until I'm down to 80, down to below 82. Just, just to be sure. Just to be absolutely sure. On the other hand, I can't take Northern Cape if I do that. There are so many things I want to do. So many things. Yeah, let's start. Let's start taking protectorates in China. What do I? Uh... What's this huge armored army for? Oh my gosh, English mass immigration. That's incredible. Cosmo Lang. Okay, I I need to see who that is. Well, I don't have any available because I should have just moused over it. Where are you, Cosmo Lang? Where are you going to be? You going to be at the bottom? Here he is. A pacifist associated with the evangelicals. Oh my gosh, he's a historical character. That's amazing. Maybe I'll look him up on Wikipedia. All right. Korea. Be my puppet. Let's see. They have 24 battalions. I don't think I need to even actually uh, start conscription. I think I'm just going to grab my uh, my fleets and get over there. Um, let's put... Slightly increase the uh, level of leadership of this fleet. Huh. The, the Pacific Fleet seems to be having some sort of issue. Uh, let's put another guy in charge. Oh, you're reckless. That's okay, though. Alright, now you can move. You have to be able to move your fleets. That's an important part of being in a war. Um, I've still got my Atlantic Fleet over here. Ah, yes. I completely overran my, uh, my capacity here. So let's start cutting Dreadnoughts. Oh my goodness, that's all I needed to cut. That's incredible. Although I'm over my leadership capacity, so... Let's go ahead and make you even stronger. A Grand Admiral. Uh, and we'll make you a little stronger as well. And let's get the American Expeditionary Force stationed in Fujian. Just so that you're nearby. Right nearby. I know that's basically all my infamy, but now I can have Korea as a uh, as a protectorate. And won't that be nice? Hmm. Definitely need to figure out what I would call my, uh, my faction, my power block. Because I want a power block. I've got a lot of influence kicking around. Let's do it. Well, I'll need to I'll need to spend some time designing the logo. So we'll do that between episodes. But I'm gonna do it this time. I got a bunch of uh, a bunch of influence left over, and I'm gonna do it this time. We're building those oil rigs in Miranda finally. We're almost done with the power plants, and we're almost done with the necessary railways. We got a city of plenty event. The most prominent members of Colorado High Society have been seen organizing lavish parties in the new and lavish urban buildings. Marble walls, shimmering stone, the noise of people coming and going brings the city back to life when we didn't even know it was dead. Tall buildings cover the sunset, kids play with bricks, smoke blends with clouds, a distant bell announces the next train. Progress is coming. The party will never end. In Colorado, you can always find the party. Um, this is 
Peasant Revolt in Banjar. Britain is involved. This is a heckin' logo right here. I don't know how that happened. Did they lose whales or something? Or is one of these... It can't be one of these crosses represents whales. Whales is that the same cross as the English cross? Can't imagine. Don't disagree. Let's take a look at this army. Line infantry, skirmish infantry, mobile artillery, and lancers. I'm not worried. Industrial barriers. Factories in Fujian have been reported to be placing Hakka people into roles with incredibly poor working conditions. Owing to their status as second-class citizens in the USA. Well, I know, I know. Us businessmen have a reputation for only caring about the bottom line. That may be true for some, but the way I see it, any venture must be built on a strong foundation of values. The Hakka don't understand those values. How could they? They're our values. This unequal treatment cannot stand. Ooh, weaker petite bourgeoisie. Doing it. A foreign manifesto. The recently translated works of Ahmad Babajan have become popular in the movement to enact migration controls. The relationship has devolved to the, developed to the point where Ahmad Babajan has openly endorsed the movement. And for a whole large class, there is no other road, especially for a nation so eminently practical as the American. The great thing is to get the working class to move as a class that, once obtained, they will soon find the right direction, and all who resist will be left out in the cold with small sects of their own. Our struggle is an international one, larger movement. Our foreign interference ought to be punished. Weaker movement, more, but more radical. I'm going to go with weaker, but more radical. Uh, whichever way forward, with the attitudes of the armed forces towards Italy growing more apathetic, their leadership has begun to discuss reassessing their group's support for the Anti-Italian Association. It was more difficult to get appointments to the foreign ministry these days. The initial interest that, the initial interest that they had inspired had long since waned, a lot of these activities falling into Washington's background noise. The armed forces were the first to lose interest, their representatives initially disheartened by an absence of news, and then no longer inclined to read the papers when they arrived at all. What reason do we have to care for happenings in Turin? Their youngest members replied. The elders did not know how to respond. Um, Anti-Italian Association is reasonably happy. The armed forces are themselves extremely happy. Um, time for changing course or why change something that works. I'm going to have them remain. We're, plenty, we're getting up to plenty of anti-Italian action uh, in America right now. Okay, nobody's getting involved over here. That's fine. France is invading Dainan. Okay, let me look at the battle. Oh my gosh, France is losing. Incredible. Get him, Dainam! <laughs> A bunch of immigration from Spain, that's fun. Santo Domingo aristocratic revolt. And Parakian Revolution. Indian territory likely to demand autonomy. You know what, Indian territory? I am tempted to give it to them. Let's improve relations at least a little bit. It's going to take some of my uh, some of my influence, but it's worth it. It's worth it to have good relations with your uh, your subject states. I'm definitely going to need to improve. Oh my gosh, Eugene Debs died. Giants of the seas. Erastus Ward's use of battleships during the ongoing war has demonstrated that these massive constructions may still serve a purpose in modern naval warfare. The young girl looked wide-eyed at the ship floating in the harbor. Looks like it took all the world's steel to build. How many such boats are there? Of this immensity, only one, the Admiral replied. You can be sure that as soon as our enemies find out, there will be two, miss. Their presence will be a compelling argument, extra influence. Or by their might we rule the seas, 10% prestige from Navy power projection. I'm going to go with the prestige. I would like a an influence bonus, but I think the prestige is more useful right now. The prestige. So what's Korea's capital at the moment? It's in Yangxiao. It's um. I don't know what. I don't know what Korean city that is. I. In. I. Can, is there a label? No. 
sad. Um, I thought... I th I have in my head that's Pyongyang, but I don't know if that's right. Uh, Alright, so let's grab the American Expeditionary Force and invade. South German mass immigration. You have begun migrating from the French Republic to Missouri. That's fun. Alright, so we're getting those oil wells built up, and as soon as they're done... You know what? We just finished with all the stuff in uh, Fujian. I'm going to throw a bunch of the silk plantations at the top of the queue, just to get them going. I'll grab the partially f finished oil rigs to get those done. And then we'll be good to go. Alright, so we have landed in Korea. We've taken the capital. Be my protectorate. Alright. American Expeditionary Forces on their way to the front. Very good. A nice, easy, straightforward war. All right. And we'll start improving relations once again. Uh, they are gonna ask for their own market because they're technically... Hey, there we go. Oh, interesting. They have reduced liberty desire based on the fact that they're... Based on the fact that there's a truce. That's interesting. It's very interesting. All right, I'm going to start funding lobbies. And our economy is partially entangled, but we can improve that situation by building uh, stuff in Korea. So where have we got where have we got labor available? Basically all over. A little bit of devastation in all these areas, but not too much. So let's throw together some textile mills, some food industries. A lot of unemployment in the country. And a few here as well. And what other resource buildings do we have? We've got some coal available. Uh, let's see. Where are we with infrastructure? Korea's infrastructure is okay. Lovely. Well, that's right. There's a bunch more in the north. Got these silk plantations running now. Well, unfortunately, France took uh, Dynob. But it is what it is. So, what is... They can't hire. Because there's a shortage of engines. Because there's no port. Gosh, I'm a stupid. I goofed. I goofed real bad. Oh, that was incredibly dumb. We're going to build a bunch more ports here. I'm going to overcompensate to make myself feel better about a really stupid mistake. Oh, goodness. Those those silk plantations will, will be hiring. Meanwhile, how are things going in Miranda? Are the oil wells that I've built... They're trying to hire, so that's good. 
and they are motivating immigration to the state. So that's excellent. Um, and there is a lot of migration happening here. So that's good. Population's growing up. And that should be pulling people in to work these lovely oil jobs. So what do we have over here? A communist revolt in the Netherlands. Neutral. And a radical revolt in Oman, which I can also safely ignore. Georgian mass immigration. Excellent. So, let's take a quick look at the market, and we'll see what having, uh, having taken over Korea adds to... Oh, interesting. Excuse me, is someone importing coffee to me, the United States? I'm not importing coffee. Who's trying to sell me their cheap coffee? Everyone. Gosh. I had to increase the size of my coffee plantations. Where, how do I, this one, coffee plantations. Where do you, basically everywhere in, uh, in Central and South America. All right, well, let's throw, uh, we'll just throw five levels each in all these areas in uh, Central America. And that'll get some extra coffee jobs and coffee production in the country. Get a little bit more coffee in this customs union. All right. It's going up slower. It's going up slower. And there's elevators. Brilliant. So now we'll grab our urban centers, and flip them over to arcades. And that's going to create a much larger demand for our... Uh, for our glass, which should hopefully help out with those. Let's go with compression ignition next. That's going to really help our mines. Uh, arc welding would be nice. Actually, let's go with dough rollers first. Just knock that right out. And then we'll do compression ignition. And then it might basically be the end of the game at that point. But, we'll see. British Republic just stealing states from Persia now, it seems. All right, what else? Any other important changes to my market? Sort by price. Ooh, Welsh mass immigration. Excellent. Um, let me see. We've got a huge T increase. Increase in demand for food, iron, and steel. Uh, we got some tea plantations in Fujian, but Fujian is also the only place I can output silk. So I don't want to necessarily build up too much there. Uh, I've definitely got places in the south where I can uh, put tea, right? Do I do I have tea plantations at present? I must. I do. Oh, interesting. They're mostly in Japan. I've been building tea plantations in Japan. But I've got some in Lorenzo Marquez. Let's put them over to automatic irrigation. Interesting. I didn't know that. Ah, and a bunch of Northern Cape, which I can definitely use. Hey, there's dough rollers. Excellent. And we've got a block in Congo Oriental we can build up. So, for dough rollers, let's go ahead and enable that production method for our for our food industries No, it's going to make you more productive. Stop pretending it's not. You can't fool me. All right, now we got those oil rigs being built. So is this impacting the oil market? Not yet. Gotta say the whaling stations are producing an amount of oil. Not much, but an amount. 
How are the oil rigs employing? Hmm. I mean, it is driving immigration to Miranda, and it will eventually be productive, but for the moment, I think I'm going to need to throw oil rigs in somewhere else. We're maxed out in Texas. Let's use the production uh, thing. Interface. We'll use the production interface. Where can I build oil rigs? I can build oil rigs in Oklahoma, frankly. Um, let me see. Bolivar's got some capacity. Yes. Let's build an outer Hausland. Can't get too many in there. Hausland as well. Let's fill up. Ivory Coast. We can get some. And Congo. Because these are areas where at least we've got a solid, we've got solid population bases that we could, they could pull into. Russia sides with Kabul. Pearly Sedgwick wants graduated taxation. Well, we might just have to say yes. All right, what's going on over here in Kabul? A proletarian revolt? Not dealing with it. Hawaii? Not dealing with it. Uh, Cape Colonies religious revolt. Could get involved just to spite the British, but I would need to invade Britain to do that. And Cape Colony is not that big of a deal. We'll leave it be. Uh, Java, Javanese bourgeois revolt. I'm neutral. I'm easy. We're chill. This is the United States. Let's start funding lobbies in the Indian Territory, see if we can get Liberty Desire down. The thing I really need to do is get my infamy down, but I'm not going to do that. I love stealing land. So now we've got a graduated taxation movement, and I'm inclined to fire it right away. Oh no, it's graduated taxation. It will, it'll be about similar. It's not proportional, but it's similar. Um, petite bourgeoisie will be mad though. Maybe the best way to do this is to do migration controls and then the petite bourgeoisie will be pleased. This will mean an end to migration for discriminated pops into the country uh, and potentially out of the country as well. But it could be good. Proportional taxation is going to increase the standard of living significantly. Hmm. I don't know if I want that. Still can't get public health systems, which is kind of a tragedy. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh my gosh, this movement is my... Oh, the Petit Bourgeoisie left the movement. That's interesting. I'm going to let this be for now. going to let it... going to let it just... try to relax. So... How is the silk situation? Uh, tr unwilling to hire because of transport shortages. All right. Um, that's interesting. Railway is producing as much transport as it can. Uh, those just privatized. Yep. Those are privatizing. Interesting. So let's throw... Uh, another block of railways in there. Wolof mass immigration. Cool. And maybe we'll put... Where's the freaking power plant? Oh, it's the private queue creating that power plant. That's what's going on. Well, that's fine. So once that happens, we'll electrify the railways. Um, did I switch? I did switch over to oil turbines, so that should be fine. Let's go ahead and throw some of this oil, uh, some of these oil rigs at the top of the queue.
so, what are you? Rock officers of war goal of Liberate Corsica if we back them in the ongoing diplomatic play against the French Republic. Well, the French Republic uh, did indeed expel our diplomats, which I don't much care for. Uh, so, you know, we'll accept. Get the boys together. Um, I'm going to raise conscripts for the American Expeditionary Force. We'll place this unit on here. We'll place the Army of Dixie. We'll start conscription and we'll place them on here next to Corsica. Liberating Corsica would be just fine. Uh, we'll put these other armies on the French border with Morocco and the other French borders in Africa. Army of California is going there as well. I don't think I need any other conscripts, although I will raise the conscripts for the Coastal Defense Divisions. And we'll station the Army of the Great Plains in the Dixie Zone, as we are wont to do. Um, Atlantic Fleet is going to go to the Atlantic. Let's get started. Japan sides with the French Republic. Well, gosh, if only I could get a... Uh... Well, maybe we'll have to invade Japan. Let's get the Pacific Fleet over here. Pacific Fleet's not big enough, we'll take the West African Fleet. Sorry to have to be fighting against you, Japan. I genuinely think our geopolitical interests are aligned, but, uh, you know, you know how things go. When you interfere in Europe, you get the Europe. That's a saying. People say that, right? It's not about a bull. It's about Europe. Whatever. You get it. <laughs> Real Democratic Republican chads get it. Uh, declare neutrality on that. Excuse me? Oh my goodness. A situation hath transpired. Are you cold cereal right now? The petite bourgeoisie are going to be back in the freaking government? Ridiculous. I won't hear of it. There's also a min secession, which I will need to deal with. Uh, Oldenburg... No. No, Oldenburg. I don't... I don't... I don't desire this. Ooh, Zeppelins. Wonderful. Democratic Solidarity. In a pro-suffrage gesture, William Ullman has released a positive endorsement of the Republican Party for its stalwart support of voting rights in the United States of America. There is no issue in our republic greater than that of the franchise, that method through which the people may decide any future issue which comes their way. With this in mind, my endorsement should come to no, uh, to no surprise. The Republican Party is the gar guardian of the American franchise, or perhaps some par party members are more than others. I'm going to go with the second one. We're going to put the Social Democrats in power. That's my... We've already, as you can see, we've already set up a plan. But um, that's going to have to wait until next time. For now, friends, I've had fun. I hope you all have had fun. And I'll see you on the other side.